Well, uh, Anita and her daughter, Nika, are full of jokes this morning, uh, but uh, we'll move on to race uh, number one, uh, where a number 11 Guru's Pride has come through to win for uh, Gavin Finzale. Uh, Colin Govinsami, nice to see him here on course. Uh, Mr. Baldew, Warren Kennedy, I see the Breeders Club of Play Stud with the son of Trippy. And uh, let's get uh, Gavin Finzale into the office. A nice, pleasant surprise for Gavin. Kevin, what was the difference today? I know the horse was gallered in the interim. You used to be with Garrett, now with you. What was the difference? Yeah, he wasn't with Garrett, he was with Chesney. Chesney, okay. Yeah, when Chesney left overseas, uh, moved over. The, the gelding obviously made a difference, you yes. know, he's, um, and um, yeah, maybe he just needed to mature a little bit. I didn't expect him to win today. I didn't expect him. I thought that they'd be gone and uh, he'd be running on at the finish. But uh, yeah, you know, that's horse racing. You take your surprises. And, um, well, we, hopefully it looks like he's quite a good horses. I think um, based on the improvement to come and what he's done at home and the way he won, I think they can look forward to some fun with him. No, added to that, you didn't even need to give him a barrier trial. Yeah, yeah, no barrier trial. You know, as I say, we didn't, between Warren and myself, we thought he'd definitely uh, come from behind from a bad draw and run on. But no, what he did was uh, quite surprising. Well, the numbers in the frame, that's what matters. I wish you the best with him uh, moving forward. Anything else from your side, Gav? Um, I've got Celtic, uh, Celtic Cat in the third race, uh, having her first run after barrier trial. She's probably worth throwing into, you know, some combinations. Um, it's not a strong field. And then Open Sea uh, for the same connections in the, in the, in the, in the seventh race. Uh, the way he won, um, when he won, he's uh, made. And if he reproduces that, he'll be in the hunt today. Thanks for that. Pleasure. Lovely. Let's get uh, Warren Kennedy in. Warren, I tried my best over the weekend to try and get hold of you and, you know, just wanted to chat to you and congratulate you on what happened. I thought I'll get to chat to you on air, which never happened yeah. because what a Saturday it was, those two rides especially, that, that Factor 50 and Jet Start. I mean, those must rank up there in this season, two of your best rides. Yeah, did you know, when always it's, a, it's a close finish and, and it's a drive to the line and you get there, sure. it's, it's one of the better rides of the season, you know, but yeah, I was very fortunate, both horses put their heads down at the right times and it was great wins from both horses and it was great fights to, from like the 300 to the line, so it was, it was just fantastic racing. Over 2,400, I mean, yourself and Gavin, when, when you're locked horns, that was it? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we locked horns, uh, we basically, I was about a link behind him the whole way, I was, I was just keeping an eye on him and we joined about the 250, 260. And from there, it was heads up, heads down all the way, you know, which, whichever horse was going to give up first was going to lose. And uh, testament, they both fought very hard all the way to the line, you know, but my filly got a head down and just grateful for it. And Jet Start, you had a lot of work to do. Yeah, Jet Start, you know, I, I thought they went probably a little bit, a little bit quick there. Um, but she was happy and comfortable where she was. She was breathing beautifully. And when I turned the straight, they gave her, they gave her to front two, and I thought, you know, I'd, uh, I'm a little bit up my ground, but I've just got to wait for her to come to me and uh, asked her to run in. Samanga moved up, gave her a little bit more of a fight to get to them because Charms looked like he was going to hold on with, with 150 to go. I thought Charms had got it. And this filly dug down. Samanga's also fought on, and this filly fought on with Samanga, and Charms folded, and she got her head down. Well, whether or not we were in the winners and closer with regards to our bets, it was just fantastic to watch the way you were riding there. So well done over the weekend. Now, uh, this horse, uh, I know you're doing your traveling, etc. It's difficult to work them back home, but he's certainly improved from when you uh, uh, known him as a young horse. I know you haven't sat on him, but I'm sure you, you know of him back home. Yeah, look, I, I have sat on him once or twice at home, and, you know, these, he doesn't give us the feel of a 1,000-meter horse, but this race came along. Gavin said we're going to run him from a bad draw. Let's drop him out. He hasn't run in a little while. Let's get this run under the belt, and we can set him up going for 1,400 miles, which is what he's looking for, but... You know, I dropped him out today and they went hell of a quick up front. They had two stagger, but he really quickened well. Geez, he quickened right through to the line. And I, I honestly didn't expect this. I didn't expect it in this fashion either. And uh, very, very pleasant surprise. But um, yeah, it looks like he, he's a smarter loss. OK, one on the board. Where can you help us, Warren? Look, I think probably my, my next best is probably Alfonso Babe in the last for Wendy. Um, she is a small little filly, a little immature, but um, it looks like the right sort of race between me and Puller's horse, myself yes. and Puller's horse. Um, also, I've got Celtic Cat for Gavin. She's, she barrier trials really nasty. She be a little bit cautious. She, she hasn't given her best workout, her last workout, but in saying that young horses can throw you off by giving you a bad workout yes. somewhere in, in the prep. So um, on her ability-wise, she can win a race like that, no problem. Um, but in hindsight, we, I'm a little bit wary of that bad workout she has put in. But um, yeah, otherwise, I'm boxing throughout. Uh, Open C's got a, got a squeak in that sort of race. He got cut into badly last time, so he can put a line through his last run. 
and um, the way he won in the poly track, I think he enjoys the track really, really nicely. So I think he can go into trifecta quartets. Thanks for that, Warren, and all the best for the rest of the afternoon as well. Thanks, to you. Just well done to Mr. Gavin Sammy, to Mr. Baldo, and obviously to Gavin. Thank you okay. very much, and to our, our man here, <laughs> Quito. Quito, we'll get to chat to him now. Okay, let's get Colin Govan Sami in, and uh, first thing I must do is just uh, hand over that bag there, Colin. I'll take care of the bag while I... <laughs> Colin's always got a bag. It's called a, a satchel or a, a duffel bag for the gents, you know. And uh, you know, there's many, many tickets in that bag because he loves his punting. But Colin, so nice to catch up and... Uh, interview here in this part of the world. I know you're based in Kauteng, but you, you seldom miss a meeting when you've got runners in KZN. Yeah, but it doesn't work out. I should have sit in the back there and not be here. Because every time I come here and come to the parade ring, the horses do badly. But when I'm not here and I'm in Joburg, they shit in. Well, this horse, uh, you know, a pleasant surprise. There wasn't confidence coming through from the yard. No confidence at all. I asked them, can I take a place in a win? They said, not a chance. Yes. So, but first of all, let's start with the interview. Well done to Roy Belgio. Uh, like my name, Southern London Govinda Sami. His name is uh, Roy Belgio, but everybody knows him as Guru. Yes. So we named him, named this horse Guru, Guru's Pride. Well done to him. He's my partner in lots of other horses. And well done. But like I said, coming back to the horse, nobody had a clue. But if you look at the barrier trial and you look at the last run, mediocre barrier trial, mediocre run, yes. shit in. But the motor operandi of most of the winners that come from this table is very similar. Yes. So we'll have to have a relook at the strategy going forward with Roy on this horse and my other horses, and we'll work it out from there. Well, it's just under the radar. I mean, uh, that's what it is, horse racing, isn't it? It's, sometimes yeah. it's like the white ball spinning no, on the roulette wheel. You don't understand. This game is already in trouble. Yes. There should be transparency. There should be fairness in the game. I mean, you're betting a 5 to 10 horse, it should be a 5. You know how you get to 5 to 10 in a horse? Yes. The whole country's got their money on the horse. Yes. Comes a 100 to 1 shot, only one or two people are going to win. Yes. The rest of the country loses the money. This game is already in trouble. Yes. There should be a fair amount of transparency. When your barrier trials you've got going on here, it's like a, like a joke. Think about it. Nobody's giving their full tonk. Nobody's giving the true ability of the horse. Everybody's holding back. They're shaking the reins and they're moving down. So therefore, when you look at a barrier trial and you look at the horse that runs first time, there's, if you look at like Sheldon always says the same thing, the horse does very well in a barrier trial, comes the first race, nowhere close to that result. You understand? But if everybody, if you have a barrier trial, there should be a proper race. You're running a proper race. You're running in your colors. You've got a proper jockey on. But... It's just a trial, so everybody shakes the reins and they don't even, you can't see the ability of the horse. Well, you've got a lot of, uh, you know, thoughts there, food for thought. Uh, maybe uh, you could approach the operators and speak about these type of things, you know, Colin. You've got a lot on your chest and you're a prominent owner in the game. Mm. I'm sure their doors are open. They'll definitely listen to you. Mm, no, 100%. Let's see what's going forward. Well, Maybe what? I pull out of this game. No, you can't. You can't. You love the game too much. But all the best okay. to yourself and uh, Mr. Baldio for 2020, Colin. 100%. And, well uh, done, Roy. Well done, guys. Well done to the guys here. Well, uh, Colin, uh, yeah, he's, he's a man that's got a lot on his mind. I'm sure like many, many punters out there. Uh, and uh, it's open door policy. That's what it is uh, when it comes to the operator. And I'm almost certain that if you've got any gripe, uh, uh, with regards to what's happening or your thoughts or your opinion, well, I'm certain you can take that up with the operator. But the winning groom here of number 11, Guru's Pride, is uh, Kwanele. Kwanele, you've done an outstanding job receiving his 1,000 Rand from James Rich. Up next, it's place accumulator time, which is race number 2, 13.30, half first one.